other things that you can do, let's say that I want a headshot and I'm actually going to do a headshot for you because I need to do this for my husband. So we're just going to make a, a headshot of my husband that he needs for his website. All right. So I'm going back to this insert button and I want to do in, insert picture from file and it's going to pull up some pictures and I want to take this one. So I took this picture of Niels. This is my husband. I took this picture of him this morning. You can see that there are a little bit of blinds over here in the bottom right corner. You can see the light from the blinds was coming in. You can also see that his head has a little bit of shadow from my lights, right? So I want to get rid of that. I just want him to have a nice, clean background. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click remove background. And you can see that PowerPoint did a pretty good job of removing the background. But if you look up here at the top, his hair is a little purple. So what would happen and right here, you can see that this is all in purple. Everything that's in purple would be removed. So you can see what happened to Niels's hair whenever I did that. I don't think he'd like that image on his website. So I'm going to undo that, put it back. So now I'm going back over. I want to format the picture. I'm going to hit remove background. And as I told you guys last week, Canva does an amazing job on this. I don't know what kind of magic that they have on their tool to get rid of backgrounds, but it's really exceptional. So I never have to go in and do any corrections, but this is faster because I'm right here, right? So I'm going to come over here. Now I need to fix this to bring in Niels's hair there. So you can see right here, it has mark areas to keep. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm just going to come up here to the top of his hair and I'm going to draw a little line. And whoops, maybe my line was a little bit too big. So that's the thing that I don't love about PowerPoint is that sometimes I have to just kind of work with this and see what happens. So it is really liking that, that side there. So let me try going this way and see what happens. So you have to just keep playing with it. I tested this earlier just to make sure that it was going to work fine. So now it's not. All right, let me come down here and see what happens whenever I do this. Okay, good. So that works. That works. So I have just got to figure out how to get his hair in here. Voila. So there is his hair, right? So now I click on the white and now I have this beautiful white background with my husband there. So the next thing that I want to do is because on the website, all the images of his colleagues are in circles. So I can't have it like this. I need to put him in a circle. So here's something else that we can do. So again, I want to go to format picture and now I want to crop this picture, but here's what I'm going to do. This little down arrow over to the right, I'm going to say crop to shape and I'm going to crop to a circle. And now he is cropped as a circle. So you can see how that kind of created that little swivel there at the bottom. So now he is fully lined out in a circle. So those are some cool things that you can do with images in PowerPoint. Before Canva, I used to use PowerPoint for all kinds of editing of my images. So to add some text or if I wanted the background to have um, some kind of line around it, then I could do that over here. So just all kinds of really ni th nice things. So I could put a border around it. So you can see again that I, this is a circle, right? And if I wanted the circle to be exact, you could, I just click on it. See over here where it's 15 by 20. So I would just say that I want that to be 20 by 20. Now see how it adjusted everything. I need to uncheck that box. And now I want to make that 20 by 20. Now that didn't, that doesn't make Niels look very good because the size of his photo kind of got distorted. But the good news is whenever I click on crop, you can see the rest of his image. So I can actually adjust his image, resize him, and then I can remove him just like that. So those are just some cool things that you can do with PowerPoint. Well, that is really all that I wanted to show you tonight. I just wanted to show you a couple little tricks. I wanted to make my husband a image that he can use. And just like with this, I can hit 
shift and drag it up and it's going to keep the dimensions of that. Oh, and let me show you one more thing before we sign out here. So I'm going to get rid of this color. I don't want this border color. I just did that there so that you could see it. But what I want to do for my husband is that I want to save this as a picture. So I'm going to say save as picture and I'm going to say Neil's headshot. I'm going to save that to my desktop and voila. Now I have his picture on my desktop.